Grandy. I'm a national award-winning certified master groomer in Tampa, Florida, and I am here with Lily. She's a black lily. We're going to go ahead and get her trimmed. She is getting a everyday salon trim, clippered schnauzer trim. So let's get busy. It's a busy Saturday, so we don't have much time to play around. Just going to get straight to it. Right? Yeah. So I usually prep my dogs before the bath. This blade needs a little bit of oil. There we go. So this is a 7F blade. I'm going to do her sides of her neck and her shoulder area. Good girl. I'm going over the cowlicks with the 7F. Going to do the top of the skull with the 7F. Being careful as I approach the ears because it's very easy to cut an ear with a, this length blade. Back of the thighs I'm going to do with this blade. Stay. Good girl. I'm also going up the sides and back of the tail with the 7F. Alright, next I'm going to take my 5F blade. Put a little oil on this one too. Stay. Yes, I love you. I do. And I'm going to come down her sides. Uh -uh, stand. And as she starts to angle off under the rib cage, I'm just going to drop it off. So I don't go off the sides, I go under the rib cage and then swing off of that hair. Then from the dip behind the shoulder blades down to just in front of the tail, I'm using the five. Good girl. And over the chest, the butterfly area of the chest, I am using a five. I'm going to come against the grain up through the front here with the five blade.
In front of the tail, I'm leaving a V shape to fill in this little dip right in front of the tail. All right. Next, I'm gonna start the ears with a 10 blade at the base, then go back over from the middle up with a 30 and then the edges with a 40. The reason why I do that with the graduating of the blade on the ear is the very bottom of the ear and the bulb of the ear back here and where it meets the skull, if you go too short, it's going to end up balded, especially on a black. So by leaving it longer down towards the base is good and then graduating it up with the 30 blade to get the bulk of the hair off the ear gets it nice and close and then edging it out with the 40 blade makes it super tight and clean and you always go on the ears from the center out center up center out so that you don't nick an ear. So now I'm gonna go back with the 40 blade and just get the edges. And because I don't pluck ears, you definitely don't want hair poking out of the ear. So I'm going to pull this hair up and out with the edge of my 40 blade. Just going to carve around there and make the ear look nice and clean. Continue on with the 40 blade, do the pads of the feet. Being careful not to push this hair on the back of the foot forward into that clipper, because then you're gonna end up with a really funny looking foot. Blade's still nice and cool, which is the great thing about this Artero Spectra Clipper. Put it back on a 10 blade. Clean the sides of the cheeks. And under the chin. And the 
the rest I'll do after the bath. All right, pretty girl. She's looking good already. When I wash her, I'll use iGrown prebiotics on the trunk of the body and the beard. And then the legs, I'm going to use the Vavoom. Vavoom. Give them some lift. So we did the prebiotic on the body, the prebiotic on the beard. Well, I hope you feel better soon. Abscess tooth is no fun. So we're using Vavoom on her legs. Give them some lift. Especially with these black schnauzers, sometimes they have a much silkier coat than the other colors. Now I'm using the Extreme Volume Conditioner on the legs. and the prebiotic on the back. The 
this dog's an absolute nut when she gets out of the tub. <laughs> She's going to have to do her crazy routine that she does. <laughs> she's a nut. Yeah, she's a nut. When I get finished with this one, I am going to take another break and I'll come back later with Brahms, the Coton de Tulair. About 5 o'clock he should be coming in, 5.30. So I'll be back on later for him. child. Yes, you are. You're my wild doggy. She's a wild doggy. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Oh. Up we go. Sweep up the floor before we turn on the dryer. You're crazy. You're a crazy girl. Yes, you are. Mm -hmm. Crazy girl. Mm, I love you. Yes. Yes, I love you. Yes, I love you. Yes, I know it. I know you're a good girl. Yeah. 
Everyone loves Lily. Yes. Everyone loves Lily. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Everyone loves Lily. Yes, she's a good girl. Yes. <laughs> She's so special. Special doggy. She's a special doggy. Yes. A special doggy. Yeah. All right, let's get you dry. Ready? So for the trunk of her body, I'm using a Mason Pearson style brush. And for the legs, I'll be using a flexible slicker. Betty didn't want her legs brushed today, did she? No, she didn't. She said, don't touch my legs. Just don't touch them. Just don't touch my legs, Miss Suzanne. I don't want you to. Yes. Evasion techniques. Lay down, throw your head, twist your body, tuck your legs, do all this. Don't, 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 don't. All right, now, <laughs> gotta love them, right? So now I'm going to use my Jody Murphy carding knife. Crayon style pet grooming, this is Suzanne, may I help you? I know we're completely booked. Uh, we have Wednesday afternoon. We do. In just a moment. Have you been here Another one just hung up on me. Just click. They didn't like the answer. <sighs> All right. <laughs> that happens so much these days. 
If you don't give them the answer they want, they just hang up on you. No thank you, no goodbye, no nothing. Anyway, i um, going to use Jody Murphy carding tool. And I'm going to card out the undercoat that's left in here. There's not a much, not much. To do this, you want to hold the skin taut. And just run this through the coat. If there's any soft downy undercoat, it will get it out. It's really good for schnauzer skin and coat to do this. It's getting some, she doesn't have a lot. But this helps to keep her nice black color and harsher texture as much as possible for a clippered coat. And I go right down into the coated area a little bit just to blend it down. I do this every two weeks on her. She gets a bath in between her haircuts. All right, now, I'm gonna go back over the clipper work. I'm going to start with my five blade. Good girl, turn. Good girl. Why are you being bratty today, huh? Why? So I was careful not to cut this little bit of hair here. If you cut this off, it drops that tail down like that and it looks funny. If you leave a little fill of hair there, it takes the tail straight off the top line. Keeps it looking nice. You want the chest nice and flat. And I like to give a little dip in right here to set the legs up under them. So the neck I did not do with the five blade, the top of the neck, doing that with a four. I like to graduate my blades down to give them some style, make them look well knit, well put together. Go to my seven blade, stay. being moody you know you gotta stand you're gonna behave yourself all right so she's raised up a little right here I want to get rid of that 
So right in that raised up area, I'm taking my seven blade and flattening her out. Because I like a nice outline and I like a nice top line. I'm gonna angle off the sides here. <clears throat> Go down the sides of the neck with the seven F. So it's nice and tight over the thigh, down the back of the leg. Turn. It doesn't take a whole lot of effort to graduate your blades. It's no different than doing a regular haircut on them. You're just stopping every few minutes and switching out your blade for a different area. But I think the look it gives them is so much nicer than just a 10 blade on the back or whatever. Or even a five blade all over. They look kind of bland. They don't have a lot of style. And a Schnauzer is such a stylish breed that giving them this added look is so nice. And that's what grooming should be. It should be artistry. It should be style. It's not just managing a dog's hair, you know, in a super convenient way. It can be really, really stylish and easy to maintain. So I'm still on the seven blade. Seven Blade definitely has its purpose in the salon, I believe. All right, I'm gonna use the texturizing spray and edge out her eyebrows. from the corner of the nose to the back skull. I'm using short curve shears. Let's work on those feet. Those big old floppy feet. <clears throat> Gonna do her pads again. Good girl.
brushing the whole leg, just the foot. You're fine. Good girl. Turn. Good girl. You turn.
off the table so we can see what we're doing. That's always helpful. You never want to leave your dog standing in a pile of hair. You can't see a thing. take her from about the last rib to the elbow into a tuck up. One of the nice things about having the table out in the middle of the floor, I can walk around the dog instead of making the dog turn. So when I get my new table in, that'll be a lot easier. This table does not do well out in the middle of the floor. It really needs to be up against a wall because it's a small table and it's lightweight and it just, it doesn't like being out in the middle of the floor. Okay. You want a cookie? I think you deserve a cookie. We should have cookies somewhere here. Hmm. Ah, we found cookies. I know what makes you happy. Yes, I do. I know what makes that girl happy. Yes, I do. Here. Oh, yum yums. Good girl. Good girl. I saw you pouting over there. I did. I saw you pouting and I saw you needed cookies. Yes, you needed cookies to feel better. Yes, give it cookies. Dear. Are you happy again? Hmm? Are you happy again? All right, I'll give you another one in a minute. In a minute. But first, you gotta behave. Okay? Stay. Okay.
end up straight. That's another thing. You can get so much better quality of a job on your dog if they're standing up four square and nice and straight. When they're twisting their legs up under, not so much. When they're sitting, not so much. So if they're tucking their elbow up under and you want to straighten them out, just turn their head to the side. And it'll kind of make that elbow pop right back out where it's supposed to be. Kind of prevents them from doing that counter move. All right, turn. Okay. Well, sometimes you'll see me being a little firmer with some of the dogs that need it. They're regular clients who know me and they know what to expect from me. And, you know, I know that they know how to behave. So, you know, I wouldn't do that with a dog I didn't know really well. This is more for dogs who I've been working with for a while. So when you see me, you know, do this stuff to them, she knows what it means. That's just part of training. You know, training them to stand, training them to behave, training them what you expect. And once they know more, you can expect more, right? Sometimes you feel like a nut. Sometimes you don't. I'm going to spray a little bit of squalane care on her just for shine. And I need to blend in that beard a little bit. I'm using 46 tooth thinners for this. And then whenever, you know, you have time when you're grooming, you can go across all these little clipper lines and blend those with thinning shears. You know, you can just spend as much time as you want just perfecting a trim.
edge out the ears with scissors. Stay. And then I'm going to come up in between these eyes with my thinning shears. And up under these eyebrows a little bit. Okay. All right, there's a everyday clipper pet trim on a schnauzer. Just a nice salon trim. Pick over it a little bit here and there before she goes home. Make sure she looks nice and neat. All right, Lily. She's pretty, isn't she? Yes, I'm back, Carol, but I'm leaving. <laughs> I just did the schnauzer. I'm going to log off. I'll be back on about 530 with Brahms, the Coton Dutelier. So we will see you then. Right, Lily? Want another cookie? Mm -hmm. I got another cookie for you. <gasps> I got another cookie for you. She says, yay, cookies. Yay, cookies. All right, guys, I'll see you in a bit. About 5.30 with the Coton. Bye.